Okay, Amy. Um, can you tell me about what you've seen in the patient chart? The patient chart reports that the patient was admitted through emergency yesterday. The doctor's notes show that the patient was previously admitted 10 years ago with pneumonia and has a history of diabetes, otherwise nil other significant history. A chest x-ray was taken in ED, which I'd like to have a look at together because there were just a few things I was unsure of. She also had some blood tests taken, including an arterial blood gas and a haematology, which I've reviewed. Her blood results show her white blood cell count and her CRP is elevated. Uh, her ABG show her PaO2 was only 65, which is why she was on oxygen. Her pH was low at 7.3 and her CO2 was high at 55. Her bicarbonate was in normal range, so she has respiratory acidosis. Can we go and have a look at the chest x-ray? Sure, that sounds good. You said that you reviewed the chest x-ray. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Okay. Well, I had the right patient, which was confirmed by their name and date of birth on the chart, and it was the one from yesterday when she was admitted. I only had an AP view, but there seems to be some shadowing in the lower right zones. Um, all the other areas don't look too bad. I'm not sure if it's the middle or lower lobe, because I can still see all of her diaphragmatic and heart borders. Okay. Did you notice whether the film was rotated or anything like that? No, it all seemed to look pretty good. Okay. Um, and did you check the lung fields at all? Yeah, um, I could see all of her clavicles were quite well lined up and I could trace her ribs out to the edge and that looked like well exposed film. Okay, all right. Great, so if you're happy I'll go and review the OBS chart and then we can go and see the patient. Yeah, that sounds good. The patient looks to have a higher than normal heart rate, which is 105, and respiratory rate, which is 26. They had a temperature yesterday, but today it seems normal. Her blood pressure seems normal. She's on oxygen at four litres per minute with her saturations at 93%. Her blood work from previously and from observations seem to indicate an infective process. Um, her respiratory rate is high, which fits with the nursing in trees, which indicated that she was short of breath. Okay, good. Do you want to go see the patient? Yeah, that sounds good. Hi Mrs Carter, my name's Amy, I'm a physiotherapy student here. How are you feeling today? Hi Amy, please call me Polly. Um, yeah, I'm feeling a bit better than yesterday. Oh, well that's good to hear. Um, Polly, I see your chest has been playing up. How long has it been bothering you? Oh, well this time it's been about six days. Six days, mm -hmm. okay. Um, just looking at your chart, and I can see this isn't the first time this has happened. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, it's um, it's been a problem for about the last year and a half. Year and a half, okay. So, have you been to see a doctor about it? Yeah, I've been to see my GP and sometimes he's given me antibiotics. Okay. Now, have you ever been admitted to hospital? No. No. Okay. So, what did you do? I just coped on my own. Okay. Yeah. So, how's your breathing been generally? Have you been feeling short of breath? Very short of breath. Okay. Um, can you rate it for me? So, 10 being like you've just run 100 metres and 0 being no effort at all? Oh, uh, well, I guess it's probably about a 4. About a 4. Mm. Okay. So, just to confirm for me, you've been really sick the last 6 days, but prior to that you've been ill for a year and a half. Yeah. So. Yeah. Before these six days, how was your breathing in that period? Were you short of breath? Yeah, short of breath. I've, I've been short of breath a lot. A lot? Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, so um, have you, has it been affecting your daily life at all? Yeah, I mean, even just going out to put the washing on the line, it's a bit hard. And that's been since you've been ill this time? Uh, no, it's quite often actually. Okay, yeah. quite often. Um, what about exercise or walking? Uh, well, you... I used to walk everywhere, but now I'm finding it really hard. Okay. Have you managed to do any walking at all whilst you've been in the hospital? No. The nurses did ask me to go for a shower, but I managed to put them off until later. <laughs> Okay, well maybe we can give it a go together and see how your walking is. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> okay, um, so have you been coughing at all? 
Yeah, there's a lot of coughing. Mm -hmm. Do you cough more um, at any time of the day than you do at other times? Uh, I guess if it's more, it's in the morning. In the morning. Okay, great. Um, were you always coughing? As in before you were sick this time? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so do you cough anything up? Yeah, this time it's greenish. Green. Before it was more yellow. More yellow? Mm. Have you been <coughs> <laughs> Have you been trying anything specifically to clear that? No. Um, it's really hard to, to clear it. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, do you get any pain at all? Uh, just in my lower ribs. Yeah? Yeah, it's a bit sore. Can you describe that a little bit for me? Um, well, it's just really painful. Really painful? Mm. That's not good. We'll see what we can do for that, okay? Um, have they given you any pain relief? Oh uh, yeah, just about an hour ago. About an hour ago? Yeah. Okay, great. And is this your first time seeing a physio? Yeah, it is. Oh really? Yeah. You didn't see one last time when you were admitted to hospital no. for pneumonia or anything? No. No? So, um, who do you live with at home? I live with my husband and four children. <laughs> That must be a bit of a handful. Yeah, it is. How have you been coping with that? Uh, I haven't really been coping good at mm. all. Uh, luckily, my eldest helps out a bit with the little ones. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Um, but I can understand that's probably something you want to get back to doing, is that right? Yeah, it's good that she helps out, but, you know, I'd still like to be getting back to doing the things that I used to do. Of course, I can understand that. So we'll see how much we can help you with that and hopefully get you back into doing that. Um, do you have any stairs at your house? Uh, there's four stairs at the back. Four? Mm. Okay, great. And um, do you work? I just work uh, part-time at the shelter. Okay. Mm. And what does that entail? Oh uh, Well, I do a bit of food preparation and... Uh, you know, with all this coughing and bringing stuff up, it's, yeah. it's not a good look. Not affecting it well. But I would really love to get to be getting back to doing that. Yeah, it's something you enjoy? Yeah, I okay. do. Well, we'll see what we can do to get you back there as well, okay? Thank you. No problems. So I just want to check a couple of details with you. Yep. I've got in my notes that you've never smoked. That's right. Yep. Oh, good girl. Okay. And um, that you have diabetes, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Okay, well that's great Polly, I think I've got all the information I need. I might have a look at you now and see if there's anything I can find. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah. great. Okay Polly, so I need to have a listen to your chest, is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Can I get you to sit on the edge of the bed for me please? Yep, sure. Oh, Polly, this is Tom, he's my educator. Hi Tom. Hi Mrs. Scott. Okay, Polly, so for this, I need to go under your shirt just so I can listen to your chest properly. Yeah. Is that okay? That's okay. Okay, so deep breaths for me, please, and just keep going until I say stop. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit lower, Polly. Okay, I'm just going to come around the back. Just coming onto your rib cage. Okay, deep breaths, please. Okay, Polly, there are quite a few crackles in the lower parts of your lungs. 
I'm going to get a feel for your breathing now. Okay. So I need to put my hands on either side of your chest. Is that okay? Yep, that's okay. That's fine. Okay. So just deep breaths for me, please. And can you try and hold it, please? <coughs> and one more time. Can you just try and hold that for me? a bit difficult yeah okay okay so um I'm gonna get you to cough this time so when I put my hands back on your chest I just want you to breathe the way you normally are okay okay, yeah. okay so and big cough please Okay, so for this next part, I'm just going to go and get a sputum cup, okay? okay. Okay, so I want you to do a huff for me. It goes like this. It's like bogging up a mirror. So. Okay. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bigger breath. So there were quite a few noises when you were doing your huff there. Okay. Can we get you to try it again yeah, now that sure. that's cleared? Yep. Just like this. <coughs> okay, that's good. Okay, there were still some noises in there when you were doing that. What that means is that there's probably still some secretions lying around. Basically what this has done is given us the basis for our treatment. Okay, Polly, what do you understand about your condition? Not a lot, really. Okay. You have bronchiectasis, which means you do have some damage to your lungs. The tubes inside your lungs don't allow mucus to move around very well, so it gets caught up in your lungs. And we have to help this by moving along these secretions and clearing them. And that's where these exercises you've just done will come in. Okay. Okay, thanks for that. Um, no one's ever really explained that to me. Does that... Um mean I'll be coughing all the time? It means you will have to do these exercises regularly, so even when you are well. Okay. And will that help with the infections? Um, I'm not really sure. Tom, could you help with this? Uh, Polly, unfortunately not necessarily, but they do seem to help with how often people are admitted to hospital. And the good thing is they can give you better control over when you cough. Okay, thanks for that. Okay, let's run through it again and I'll show you a little closer, step by step. Okay, Polly, so I do want to see where you're at with walking, so we might just take a short one, is that okay? Uh, yeah, that's okay, as long as it's short. Oh yeah, don't worry, look, all I want to do is get a baseline for your exercise tolerance, okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, Tom, would you be able to come in and give me a hand here? Sure. I'm just going to get some oxygen for you. So I'm just going to get a monitor so we can have a look at your saturation levels while you're walking. Yeah, okay. Would you just look after Polly for me? Sure. Okay, so this just goes on your finger. Exactly. Okay, okay so Tom at the moment she is on 97% on 4 litres of oxygen. Good, good. So, when you're ready, we're going to get you to stand up and we're going to take a short walk. So what okay. kind of things are you going to look for before we go while we're walking? Uh, I just want to um, monitor your shortness of breath and the saturation levels. So please let me know, Polly, if you get short of breath as we're going. And just let us know if there are any other problems. Yeah. I just, 
want to make sure that the nursing staff know how far she can go as well, see if you can get to that shower and back. Okay. Okay. Thank you. No problems. Okay, so we'll get you to stand up. Let's go for a little walk. So you're right there, Polly? Yeah. You're comfortable? Thank you. Okay. I've written down some exercises, the ones we've just been doing. So I've got it all written down for you. I'd like you to continue going on with that. Yeah. I'll be back this afternoon to check on you and run through that again with you. Mm -hmm. um, in the meantime, I'm going to ask you to sit out of bed for about an hour okay. before you get back in. If you do feel short of breath or anything like that, just ask the nursing staff and they'll put you to bed a bit earlier, okay? okay? Yep. So do no you have thanks. any questions? Uh, not at this stage, no, but thanks very much for your help. Not a problem. I'll be back this afternoon and if you have any questions in the meantime, make sure to ask me when I come back. Okay, thank you, Amy. No worries, Polly. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.